before anybody gets excited. This is not live Irish mints. Um, but I did say I would, it would be remiss of me not uh, to come on uh, at least for a minute uh, and to explain why uh, Live Irish Mits is on something of a, a hiatus right now. Uh, despite the fact that I might sound as if I have eaten a bag of gravel for lunch, uh, my voice has actually considerably improved today, believe it or not. Uh, over the weekend, uh, I hardly had any voice at all. It was just a croak when I spoke. So I've been a little bit under the weather. Um, I'm sure you can all understand. Last Monday, uh, I started to feel unwell and I had a sore throat and I felt it would be better not to do an episode, especially because on Tuesday, I was giving a talk on the solstice about the Enoch of Brunabonia uh, for Louth Library Service. Um, which I did, um, and funny enough, I didn't feel too bad on Tuesday night. I, I knew I wasn't well, but I managed to get through it and all that. Now I was testing, so I was negative for COVID. Um, and then, uh, yeah, on Wednesday, basically started to feel a lot worse, and on Thursday started on a course of antibiotics. So here we are. Um, I just wanted to explain. That's all. I, I'm not doing an episode tonight because the voice wouldn't allow uh, an hour and a half of talking. Uh, this is a short and sweet uh, announcement, announcement even. So apologies for the absence. I think that I can't remember what the reason for the previous week was, but Wait, this is the third Monday. We won't have live Irish mitts, which is very strange, I know. And I do apologize for it. But anyway, look, I'm sure you understand. There's Joan McHugh. Uh, and Joan, we're very sorry uh, to you uh, on your recent uh, sad bereavement. And you have our sympathies, absolutely, from each and every one of us. Um, Yeah, so that's basically the long and short of it. Now, there are a couple of things that I have to announce. The first one is the one that's scrolling along the bottom of the screen, just to remind you that the second outing of the Mythical Ireland community is the planned excursion to Ishnock on Saturday week. Now that's, uh, what is that? Is that 12 days away, 11 or 12 days away? Uh, Saturday, the 9th of July, the tour, which is being led by myself, begins at 11 a.m but you're advised to actually arrive at the hill of ishnock at 10 30 so that we can actually leave on the tour exactly at 11 just to be on time you know um th that now there's no cost to mythical ireland for that i'm not i'm not charging any money for that uh, there is a a, a, a a charge of five euros per head uh for ishnock which is payable on the day so just um, you can pay me, I think, or we might get Francis to take the money. I'm not sure, but we'll see anyway on the day. Anyway, I'm looking forward to that. After we finish the tour, we'll come down and uh, there'll be a picnic area set aside for us and we can have a picnic and a chat. So hopefully it'll be a lovely day out. I'm really looking forward to that because our excursion on the Hill of Tara was a lovely day out. And we got very lucky with the weather because um, it, it, it looked like it was going to rain and the rain held off really until we were finished, which was fabulous, you know. Uh, the other thing is, uh, please don't forget that we have another competition running at the moment, which is for this wonderful Curbstone 67 pendant designed by our own one and only on Gobba, Tom King uh, at his forge in Bohemian, the smooth road one of the great roads leading to Tara. Um, that uh, piece is uh, based on the designs on Curbstone 67 at Newgrange. 
uh, the uh, conjoined spirals with the uh, the uh, the diamonds, um, the uh, lozenges above and below. Um, to be in with a chance, we will make the draw for the winner of this at Ishnock on Saturday the 9th. That's on Saturday week. Um, to be in with a chance of winning this, all you have to do is go to mythicalireland.com and buy either one of Tom's pieces or one of my books. And that's all you need to do to be in with a chance uh, of, of winning this fabulous item. Um, so that's all you need to do. Anybody who, and there are several orders in since we announced it, literally anybody who orders anything is automatically entered into the draw. And as I say, we'll make the draw at Ishnock on uh, Saturday week. So looking forward to seeing you all there. We will do our best to have a live stream on the day because I know that um, obviously some people can't travel. Um, and it's nice for you to be able to see and, and we'll try and uh, share as many pictures as possible. Uh, thank you. I'm not going to read all the comments individually, but uh, I want to. I do want to say hello to Elaine Dent Lingenfelter, who I met at Tom's Forge a couple of weeks ago, and finally learned how to correctly pronounce her surname, because apparently you don't pronounce the G. I've been saying Lingenfelter, but it's Elaine Dent Lingenfelter. So Elaine, what a pleasure it was to share some time with you at the Forge. And again, a wonderful honor and a pleasure to be able to meet so many of the Tua uh, now that the pandemic is, you know, hopefully, 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 fingers and everything else crossed a thing of the past. Um, lovely to see you there, Joan. And as I say, uh, we, I, I, I know that we did, um, I did put up a post at the time of your bereavement and there was a huge, huge response to that. And uh, you're very welcome back and I'm looking forward to hopefully within the next week uh, returning to the regular live streams and having a bit of crack and a bit of fun with everybody. Uh, and no, uh, Elaine, it's not the... The audio isn't rough. It's me. I'm I'm under the weather and uh, suffering at the moment. So uh, several people are suggesting a uh, hot toddy or some sort of large dram. Uh, I may take you up on this advice before going to the bed anyway. And McCallum, thank you uh, for your little gesture, uh, which I had a look at a short time before starting the stream. Um, yep, so those two things are the most important. Saturday week at Ishnock. If you're going to be there, please, 10.30 a.m. Uh, if there are people who need lifts, please reach out on the Mythical Ireland community group on Facebook and just say, I, I, I'm looking for a lift. Is anyone, you know, um, it's, it's, it's a sensible thing with the way fuel prices are uh, to carpool at the moment um so absolutely if you need a lift do just just put your hand up on the community and just say yeah look this is what we'll um this is what we'll this is you know this is what i need uh, anybody able to help but there's no guarantee that people will be able to help but if people can help they will help red breast yes um red breast 12 or 15 uh mandy would be the big question and in the absence of red breast 12 or 15 will tullamore dew cut the mustard um what else uh oh yeah the competition of course i'll just flash that up one more time the wonderful curbstone 67 pendant designed by tom king look at that isn't that fabulous get on the website and order something and you'll be in with a chance to win. Uh, the only other thing was, I hope that you all had a chance to look at the History Channel clip. Uh, that's a segment of a one hour program uh, dealing with New Grange, uh, which was filmed uh, in January of this year, actually, uh, with uh, myself and Claire Tuffy uh, at New Grange. And um, uh, I'm 
very impressed at how quickly they turned it around because I think it was aired in the States in May. And so it only took them four months to get the whole thing put together. Uh, but the link for that is on the uh, uh, the main page and on the uh, community group. Anyway, I've done far too much talking. I have the medicine here. I've loads of medicine and I have the lozenges. And so I'm going to shut up now. Um, History Channel clip is very shareable too, says Marianne. Yeah, because it's on uh, YouTube. You can literally just copy and paste that. Um, you know, and thank you for the advice, uh, Salaf. Um, yes, garlic and ginger sounds like something that might help uh, clear it up. In the meantime, uh, it's just a, an apology for the lack of streams lately. Uh, we will get back to it. Uh, and get back to it uh, with uh, more vigor and energy than before, hopefully. Um, but in the meantime, apologies. And I know that you'll understand exactly why, but I thought it'd be best just to come on and explain rather than to be posting uh, obscure um, one-line statements, you know, where people would suddenly get more concerned about you than they need to be. It's just a chest infection, you know, um, I hope, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Excuse me. Anyway, uh, a very good evening to all of you, uh, or a good morning, or a good afternoon, or a good night. And we'll see you uh, for the next proper episode of Live Irish Mints, uh, which hopefully, if I can organise it, if, if I'm well enough, I'll do it sometime this week. If not, we'll see you Monday. And then, of course, uh, for all of you intending to travel to Ishnock, we'll see you on Saturday week. Slong a fall, toga buggy,